Hey YouTube, today I thought I'd uh, show you the timber frame staircase. I'm kind of wrapping up some of the stuff on the actual staircase today. Uh, then hopefully I'll be able to sand this and get the treads all coated with polyurethane. So the staircase itself, uh, the stringer and the treads, they're all made out of 4x12 timber. Uh, and this is all a mortise and tendon joint. So basically there are holes or slots uh, milled out for each step to, to slide into and then it's secured with some log screws. And uh, basically on this, uh, this back side over here, the log screws are coming through from the wall side where you can't see the log screws and then on this side here the log screws are actually coming up from where the wall is and coming up through and grabbing that tendon to keep it from sliding back out so uh, it's a it was a little interesting to try to do it that way and uh, and to hide all the hardware as well but uh, I think it turned out pretty good so what we're using to close in the uh, in the staircases we're using a 4x8 timber and we have planed this down to be just a little bit thinner that way it's uh, not as much weight hanging up there. I wanted some strength but yet I didn't quite need that that full thickness of a 4x8 and then we ended up uh, cutting an angle on one side to match the angle of the stringer of the staircase and uh, you'll probably see how that that plays in just uh, as we get hanging these. So then we're going to we're using a Forstner bit we're using a Forstner bit to drill the holes for three uh, timber screws to be able to um, screw into the, the stair tread and hold it there. And then we're going to use a three quarter inch plug and we're going to cover up those holes to hide those, those screws. That's the reason we're using the Forstner bit. It makes a really nice hole uh, so that you can use dowel rods as plugs and, and to fill those holes and they look pretty good. So right now the uh, the treads are an open tread design and today we're going to be closing these in. So we're going to be putting timbers on the back side of these treads to help close in there, uh, to close that tread design up. And the reason we're doing that is because we have an actual door leading to our basement and we're going to heat that on a separate zone so then if we want to be able to not heat the basement as much at a certain time of the year we'll be able to. So we need to close these treads in um, so that we can truly close the basement off. As you can see we've already got a couple of uh, of these treads closed in here and you can see the difference that that makes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the backs and close in these treads and then we'll give it a look over and then I can finally go ahead and probably start sanding, doing a final sanding on this and we can start putting the polyurethane on the staircase.
as you can see, we're on. The, this is the the last tread of the staircase. This is the loft. Uh, you can see a beam that hangs over the uh, the kitchen right here. This isn't real pretty to look at. So what we're going to do is we've left it intentionally a space here so that we can uh, fill in a board across here that looks nice and pretty. So we just need to take a measurement from the top of the tread to the top of the subfloor and the loft, and it looks like it's around seven and a half inches. And we'll get one cut down to, to put here. Like I said, there's a gap right here. And uh, we just need to make sure that our board is at least that thick and it's one inch. So I may have to make something custom uh, in the planer, but I'm gonna shoot for probably about an inch and an eighth. So it just overhangs on top of this tread. So just have to make that. Um, fasten it somehow where I can hide the fasteners and then uh, I think we're pretty much done and it'll be uh, ready to sand. As you can see we got all the uh, stair treads closed in. Everything's now uh, you know tidied up and ready to be uh, sanded and finished. So we're gonna put probably three or four coats of polyurethane on the staircase uh, just like you would on a hardwood floor to make it nice and durable. So I would go ahead and start that this evening, but on this last stair tread up here at the top where I put this nice uh, finished piece of wood right here, um, I had to use finished nails and I used some wood putty in the holes. So I gotta wait for that wood putty to dry before I can sand it. Okay, as we look at the back side of the stairs, you can see that we've put in the wooden plugs to help uh, cover up the fasteners. And then uh, the reason we ended up chamfering those, as you can see, that ends up uh, running right along this stair stringer here will be exposed. So you're gonna see that when you go down the stairs. Now this side, the uh, stair stringer will end up having the tongue and groove boards will actually end up covering that stringer. So you won't see that stringer, but on this side uh, you will. So that's why we ended up angling those, those boards. As you can see, we don't have any handrail on the staircase yet. Uh, we'll be working on that soon. Uh, it will have some handrail along the staircase and on each side of the loft, there'll also be some handrail. And we are making the spindles for that handrail out of three quarter inch rebar and painting it black. So that'll be a future video coming up. So I thought I'd just separate the handrails into a separate video. Uh, but for right now, this is the timber frame staircase. I'm sure in the next video it'll look a lot better once we get that all polyurethaned and uh, coated. So thanks for watching. As you can see, we did get our accent lighting all uh, installed here in the great room and uh, up inside of the dormers as well. It does uh, set a nice mood here in the great room. It's uh, probably work out really good for, for watching movies.